Hey everybody, Maggie here today to give you a little rundown on a couple of the We Are Memory Keepers punch boards. Today we're going to go over the envelope punch board and the gift box punch board. Both of these tools are really amazing, uh, amazing things to use in your paper crafting and they allow you to create your own unique envelopes or gift boxes for gifts that you make or to add to your paper projects or to use as decoration. Uh, they're really fantastic tools and I'm just going to show you how to use both of them. So we're going to start with the envelope punch board. Um, let me give you just a quick little look over the tool itself. The envelope punch board, this is just a plastic punch board that comes with a punch right in the middle and a score line that you can see here. It's got a number of different measurements here and the actual directions on how to use the punch board are right on the board itself so that you don't have to keep any crazy pieces of paper with your tool all the time and you know in case you forget you've got everything written right out here for you. You do get this scoring tool, this folding tool that fits perfectly right in the punch board so again you don't have to worry about losing that it just stays here all the time and you've got guides here that tell you what paper size you will need and how to create what size envelope you want to make it's so cool everything's right here for you this takes no time at all let's go over making an envelope so we are going to make an envelope with this six by six piece of paper. This is from Heidi Swap's memory planner line. And with a six by six piece of paper, we can actually make two different sizes of envelopes. So we have on our directions here, it asks you to select a card size. And actually we selected a paper size first because to be honest, that's kind of how I work. I will find what I have and then just kind of make it work to the situation. So I've got this six by six paper and we can make either a three by four card or a three and a half by three and a half card. This tells us right here, all we have to do is decide which card size we want, or excuse me, which envelope size we want. And then we will line up our paper on one of these numbers according to which um, which size we want. So let's see, we've got, we can make a three by four or a three and a half by three and a half. Let's make a three by four card. This would be perfect, or an envelope. I keep saying card, but I think it's because it says card side here, or it says card size here. When I say card, I think it, I mean envelope in this situation, okay? This will be cool if we can make a three by four because then this little envelope could tuck right into a project life pocket. Um, you know, that would be awesome if you have receipts or something that you want to include uh, in, in your project life. This would be perfect for that. Okay, so let's make a three by four. This tells us that we need to line up our paper at the two and five eighth inch mark. So we are going to take our paper and it's right spelled out right for us two and five eighths inch right here and we're going to take our tool our little scoring tool folding tool what we want to do first is when we have that lined up is just punch right here okay easy easy now right in this punch there is a little opening that our scoring tool fits right right inside and we just use our scoring tool right up against that little opening and score right along the line. Now, for our next punch, we're going to do something a little different. Instead of measuring the side of our paper along the score line, we are actually now going to measure, put our paper in to the score line in the score guide. This little piece of plastic sticks out here you can see that here. And that is where we are going to put our, our scored line, the line we just scored. So we have that lined up and now we'll punch oop, and score again. Now we're gonna do that two more times so that every side has a punch and a score and we'll line up our score line again and we'll punch and we'll score and our last time We'll punch and we'll score again. Now, you can see it's probably easier if I turn this over. 
you can see here our scored lines and our punches. Our final step before we assemble our envelope is to put each corner into this reverse punch. All the punch boards have not only this punch where you create these little um, uh, these little spaces for your folds, they also have a reverse punch that will give you, in this case, a rounded corner. So I've actually used this as a corner rounder when, is, when this is closer than my actual corner rounder. Okay, so now we've got our paper. I'm going to put the punch board to the side because we are done with that for now. And all we'll do is fold up our sides and we can use our folder to give us nice beautiful creases on each of these folds. Just like that. And if you're using directional paper, paper whose design is directional, you want to make sure that when you go to adhere your envelope that you are doing it so that the pattern is facing up where your um, where your flap will be. So let's make this, this is our three by four envelope. This is how I like to adhere these. If I've got two flaps that overlap this much, I like to just take a little bit of adhesive and put some right like that so those two sides stay together. And then I'll just run one line down each side of the bottom flap and bring that up. And now, we have our fantastic little three by four envelope, just like that, that can fit right into a project life pocket or use this, you know, if you've got a whole bunch of um, um, little cards that you want to use, you can turn this into a, a mini, or excuse me, a mini book just like this. How cute would this look if a whole bunch of rings went through these and you just had a number of little envelopes with cards in them or pictures or use it for a gift card or use it for, um, a thank you note, anything. Let me show you some examples that I made with some Heidi Swap Wanderlust paper. And this I used a piece of five by five paper. And so this actually is a gift card size and it tells you right on the punch board that if you use five by five paper, you can make a two by three and a half inch envelope that will fit a gift card perfectly. So I did this for my kids' teachers for the last day of school. I created little, envelope or excuse me gift card envelopes and instead of adhering them together I decided to just write a thank you note right inside the envelope and then the gift card will fit right in here this will all close up you can wrap that up any way you want and hand that right to the teacher and she's got her note and her gift right like that you'll see too that with a five by five piece of paper you can also make a two and a half inch by three inch envelope and that's what I did with this one. So both of these were five by five pieces of paper. This one I just um, used a different score line and it tells you right there for the gift card size you'll use the two as your first score line and for this two and a half by three inch you'll use the two and three eighths line as your first score line. So this one I did just the same but this I adhered and made just a cute little envelope. It looks like, reminds me of those little envelopes that come with flowers at the store, little uh, little cards that you can make. This would be so cute just to pop a little thank you in there, maybe put in your kid's lunchbox or just to give a neighbor. These I just added a couple, a little mink um, thank you. I minked that with some of the hot pink foil. And this is just a piece from one of the flea market pouch um, uh, flea market pouches, yeah, that, that came, that Heidi has in the Joann stores. We just put that together and here's just a little gold mink clip, added that. And that's so fantastic. I mean, I really feel like you can give a gift that is not hugely brilliant, super expensive, out of this world crazy, but you can make it look that way by wrapping it in a beautiful way. I really think that presentation is everything. I think that if you give something that looks nice and that is unique and wonderful and something that you created, it adds so much to the gift you're giving. So these are some examples of envelopes that we can make. Here's actually another one that I made with the six by six paper. And this is um, not the three by four envelope, 
This is the three and a half by three and a half inch square envelope that I made. So see, you get a bunch of different sizes that you can make with scraps around, you know, any, you, I'm, we all have cutoffs of paper that we use. So these, this is a great way to make unique little envelopes. Thanks so much. I'll be back in just a few minutes with the gift box punch board.